Hello, welcome back to my channel this morning. I hope you're well. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for taking the time today. I hope um, you enjoy my short video. And to my regular visitors, hi, it's really good to see you. Um, I love the messages you leave me, it's nice to have a chat. Okay, so once again, I'm working in my 100 days my everyday journal um, and it's starting to look quite full um, but we're going to keep going in it I think um, what I'm going to do with that that was our last page with the belly band with the secret hidden pocket and the um, little cards for this one we're going to work on this patterned page very highly patterned page uh, and I think I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to do a simple collage on this page. So what I might do is take these pieces out. And that will lay a little flatter. And we'll open the book up like this. And I'm hoping that will work. If not, I might have to put a piece of pattern paper underneath. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Um, these are my scraps. Scraps of paper. I might use them all. I might only use some of them. Um, not too sure at this stage. And I'm going to play you some music and just play because collaging takes me a bit of time to get my head round. And um, it might be better for you if I play you some music and speed things up a bit. I want this to be a shortish video today. Okay, onward. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. Um, I quite like that, but I think I might stamp something, a swirl or something on here. So I'll just go and have a look, see what, um, see where my stamps are and have a look at that. I'll be back in a flash. Okay, I'm back. I've got this stamp, one of the smaller swirly stamps, and I'm going to stamp it in antique linen. I've just tried it on a scrap of paper at the side and I really, I quite like it. So, um, yeah, it was either that or to pick out more this sort of orangey, rusty colour, but I think I'm going to go with this because I want it, don't want it to be too in your face, <laughs> that makes sense. So let's have a look. Okay, there we go. Let's see what that looks like. This is a um, sticker. It's one of the, you know, pretty white around the edge stickers. See now, yeah, I quite like that. Just that swirl there follows the circle on the sticker. 
and the shape of the flowers. It sort of follows it round. Well, that's how I look at it anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, I did have a little label. Do I want that? Do I need that? Don't know. Where would I put it? Put it there. Could. No. On the top. Don't know. We'll leave that to last. Okay, I'm going to start gluing. Back to the music. Okay, so that's our collage page. Um, yeah, I thought this was going to be a, white, a completely white sticker and it was clear, which was a bit of a shock, but I don't mind that, that's fine. The, the actual flower is on the... Um, the lighter paper so it's a bit more visible so yeah that's um, day 18 I think I'm up to 16 17 yep yeah, 18 I might stamp that number in here I'm not sure yet I like to have the numbers every so often so that I can keep track of where I am. If that makes sense. What's happened here? There we go. Okay, all right. Well, I will be back with the next day tomorrow. Thanks so much for calling past, and I hope you'll call back for my next page. Bye now. Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel today where I am working on day number 18 of my 100 days in my everyday journal. Okay, 17 was our last collage page and that was done on a highly pattern page of um, scrapbook paper and 18 I'm going to use this card that came obviously with these bits and bobs and it's a nice stiff card so I thought I would use that in this uh, little journal but what I want to do is I'm going to do another collage but I want to collage the front of a pocket so that I can slip in. I've got out one of these little um, Project Life cards and I want to slip that in for journaling. 
Okay, so I have this piece of card here, paper it is, it's just um, copy paper I think, or 100 grams probably. And um, it's cut to size. And I've put some paper tape here, masking tape, but I think what I'm going to do is attach this to another piece of paper just to make it a bit more stable. I just think that's a bit flimsy. So I've got a piece here that is, um, you know, bad printing on one side. So that's perfect. I will use that. And um, I'll use my glue stick to glue it on. How are you today? I hope you're all well. I know there's snow around in the UK poor things and it's March or soon be Easter you should be you know the spring bulbs should be coming up shouldn't they it's such a shame if the weather turns cold um, and I know also in parts of America it's pretty much the same I'm thinking of you all here it's quite the opposite but we won't go into that <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you've had some time to play along with some of the challenges that are out there at the moment. And there's a few. I've yet to see Rachel's challenge for this week. Um, but I don't want to miss it. She comes up with some fabulous ideas. And uh, I've got a growing box of um, ephemera. Oops just from following along with it so you know that's good okay let's just trim this down carefully using a blade did I go to the top just about okay so that's made that just that little bit stiffer. Um, and um, what I'm going to do now is collage the front before attaching that to our page. Now before I start, I've got, got a few bits and bobs here. I can clean my mat from yesterday. There we go. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs and I'm thinking I'm going to keep this pretty simple because it is a pocket. I need to trim this one down. I've got some map page. I'm going for these sort of muted colours on this one because my feature is this little old photograph that I have printed. I'm not quite sure where it came from. It could have been might well be one of Jack Ravi's photos. I'm not sure. Anyway, I've printed it to photo paper. Um, so I quite like that. That looks good. And I've already sort of worked out what I want to do. So I've stamped on this label here. And then I've got a few bits and pieces. I have a ticket. to go probably about there. This is another little piece I was thinking could go here. I did print this but I'm not sure whether I will use that. I, don't, I can't decide. Yeah, I think I quite like it. Just like that. As I say, it's the front of a pocket, so I don't want to go too OTT. Um, yeah, I might m just move it all down a fraction. All right, so I want to trim some of this off, and I'm just going to tear it. And I've torn it at a bit of an angle. Hopefully, yeah, that still fits. So that's going to be my first piece down. 
I'm going to do some light sponging, inking. And um, while I'm doing all this, I'll turn some music on and I might speed this up a bit. This will be another short video for the weekend. Who's got time to sit watching videos at the weekend? You could be crafting, could be outside if the weather permits, who knows? <laughs> okay. I'm using walnut. Walnut stain today. Okay, so I'm going to put a little punch in here and I think I'm going to put it up. I put it up? No, I'll put it in the middle. That's fine. If my punch is going to play today, it's not. that from this side. There we go. Oops. Put the book in. Do a bit of um, bit of sponging around there. It's a bit bright, isn't it? That's better. And I'm also going to do a little bit of stamping using um, this um, splodgy, splattery stamp. black ink. Didn't mean to, but um, it doesn't look too black against the grey around there. Now I'm also going to stitch around the edge of this I think, so I'll go and do that and I'll be right back. Okay so here we go, I've stitched all the way around and I added a bit more splatter stamping. Um, just on the edges of the photo try and age that up a little bit. I'm going to stamp number 18 on this just because I um, 
every so often if I put the number on I can keep up to date a little better. Uh, where will I put it? I might put it up here. There we go. Day 18. Put those away. So now all that remains is to glue this to the front of this page. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just, this one's better, I'll just push down this stitching at the back just helps with the glue, closes the needle holes. There we go, that's better. Right, our glitter glue on three sides. And I try and get the glue over the stitching. Um just think it helps to stick it to the page. Okay, and just the plain little card in there just for some journaling. Okay, so that's page 18, done. Hope you like that one, a simple collage. Odds and ends, bits of map page, an old photo. Um, yeah, so I'll um, be back for day 19. And day 19 is gonna be one of these pages. This is quite shiny, I'm not sure what I'll do there. But I've got an idea for this page. Okay, hope to see you there. Thanks so much for calling past today. Until next time, bye.